It's a blaze burnt into the state's memory. The Wurraloo bushfires raised almost 11,000 hectares and destroyed 86 houses, including Jessica Blackwell's home in Gijiganup after she was forced to evacuate and could not return. By the time it crossed 2J Road, it was moving so quickly that they had already closed the roads and there wasn't that much of an opportunity, um, which is a bit different to normal. And then it all happened very fast from there. But charges against Daniel Gunter Pruce, the man who was accused of starting the fire when he used an angle grinder during a total fire ban, have now been dropped. Mr Pruce was due to stand trial next week, but in court, the prosecutor said as a result of further police investigations, the state considers there are no longer reasonable prospects of a conviction because it can't be established he lit the fire and caused the damage. The recovery process has been gruelling for Jessica Blackwell, but she's been in her new house for a year, unlike many others. Now when I think about about the fire, where my thoughts go to are the people that still are without a home, you know, that haven't been able to rebuild for whatever reason, and a lot of it is not for lack of trying. WA police say they're still treating the cause of the blaze as deliberate, and they will investigate any new information uncovered during the court process. Kenneth Peng, ABC News.